Welcome back to Homeschool Life. I'm Paula, and one of the things that I love about homeschooling is the community. So that's what we're here for, to provide a place for you, for conversations where you can learn and grow and share and be encouraged. From curriculum and how-tos to tips and tricks to day-to-day -day lifestyle and more. So take a second to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of our new content. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Charlotte Mason teaching style. This has been around since the 19th century and it is becoming more and more popular today. This approach focuses on educating each child as a whole person and not just their mind. And this is done primarily through three areas, the atmosphere, the discipline, and life. So the atmosphere is simply the environment that your family lives in. The discipline is teaching them helpful character habits so that they know how to behave in acceptable and proper ways to contribute to society and be safe and, health and healthy and happy. They're gonna learn good habits and the key ones here are paying their full attention and giving their best effort to whatever it is that they are doing. And this will help their school as well as real life. So the life part is teaching them to love to learn, that they're always learning, and that includes all of the academics. So Charlotte Mason is presenting a wide variety of ideas and encouraging each child to learn and grow at their own pace. So it's their natural progression. So you're gonna provide materials to your kids to make their own connections. So you're gonna guide them and you're gonna let them discover and have those aha moments. The Charlotte Mason method uses what is called real living books. So you know when you have a textbook and it has a lot of different information from a lot of different books? Well, you're gonna do away with the textbook and you're gonna give them all of those different books so they can read for them themselves firsthand. So doing this, reading the, these books, these living books, that captures their hearts and their emotions and their minds. There will be stories for them to glean life applications and attributes from. There are, are now subject courses that have been written with um, real life stories in them so that it makes the subject come alive for your kids. So you're going to be immersing your students in in-depth studies with great works. There's a lot of great reading that you get to do. So your kids are gonna to get to explore and look and listen and copy and narrate. What is narration? Well, narration is simply when your child reads something and they're learning directly from what it is that grabs their attention. Then they're gonna turn around and they're gonna tell you orally, they're gonna to talk to you and tell you what, what it is they learned. Or if it's your older kids, they're gonna write it out for you and they're gonna tell you what they learned. So it's not necessarily you teaching per se as they're learning from the materials that you give them. This leads to deeper discussions and deeper understanding, plus an increase in language use because they're gonna read words, they're gonna learn new words, and then they're gonna use those words telling it back to you. So what does this look like? All right, for art appreciation, you're going to um, give them an, a piece of artwork to study and they're gonna look at it and they're gonna learn different attributes about that. But then you're also going to teach them and give them the material so that they can learn about the person who wrote, who not wrote, who painted that painting or made that sculpture or whatever piece of artwork it is. And they're gonna learn not just when they lived, but who were they? What were they like? What was the area in that they grew up in? Classical music study, same type of thing. You're gonna choose a composer. You're gonna let them listen to many different works of, their, of theirs. Um, you're going to give them um, maybe movies and books and things that they're gonna learn all about, like who was this person and what did they grow up like and what made them decide to become a composer and what was their adult life like? Nature study is the basics for science. So. Outdoors is a big thing with the Charlotte Mason method. And so your kids get to go outdoors every single day. And so you'll take them on nature walks. And these are really fun because you just give them a notebook and you let them go out there. And so you tell them to pick something. So one of them might pick a caterpillar. One of them might pick a piece of grass. Somebody might pick the sky. 
And so they pick whatever it is they want and they like literally just study it, just watch it, just spend some time with it and then draw it to the best of their ability and then write down some things, some observations about it. And then for your older kids, they get to go back home and then they're gonna study and do some research about that particular thing. Handwriting and spelling, there's gonna be copy work and there's gonna be dictation. And it's gonna be from the Bible and historical documents and poetry and really rich literature things. Math, there's a lot of reasoning and there's gonna be story problems and there's going to be manipulatives. History is gonna be taught chronologically alongside period literature. And there's gonna be lots of read alouds too. You get to read to them and they're going to read to you as they get old enough. There is something that happens in the brain that is different when there's reading aloud happening. It's a lot of fun too. This is a very rich and fulfilling methodology for many, many families. My family enjoyed it very much. <clears throat> this, is, this will teach you a balance of time, okay? So Charlotte Mason is really big about short lessons. And so therefore there will be teacher-led studies that will be completed in the mornings, maybe just shortly after lunch. But then the afternoons, that's for your kids to play and do their chores and their hobbies and practice that musical instrument if they happen to be learning one, free reading time, arts and crafts, those types of things. They're gonna be just exploring some more and learning more on their own time, independent learning time. Charlotte Mason Homeschooling promotes joy in lifelong learning. Love to learn. So what kind of curriculum do you use? So first and foremost, Charlotte Mason is really big about your Bible, teaching them from the Word of God. And so that is one of the first things. The next thing that she's really big about is those books. Remember I talked about those books? So different types of books. These little books of wisdom, these are really awesome. So here you've got the Declaration of Independence and Common Sense and George Washington's Rules of Civility and Decent Behavior. And so these are the original writings that your kids will get to read. Biographies. Your kids are gonna to get to be immersed in a lot of different biographies and learn about some wonderful people. So YWAM does a great job with this. So here is George Washington, Daniel Boone, Ben Carson. So again, see the wide variety and then more books. So these are storybooks, but they're gonna learn about real life things out of these storybooks. So I've just grabbed a few, The Courage of Sarah Noble, The Hiding Place, Little House in the Big Woods, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So they're gonna to get to read some classics and some really good works. So aside from all of these books, then you've got, remember I talked about math with the manipulatives. So I've grabbed out this box of manipulatives. So we've got, we've got uh, cubes and we've got clocks and we've got rulers and we've got bands and we've got dominoes and we've got geometric shapes. There's just a lot of manipulatives in this box. So another story form way to teach them, Life of Fred. So this is the Apple's book. This is math still. And then Masterbooks has done a marvelous job. They are writing curriculum with what is called a Charlotte Mason flair or a flavor. And so these are math books and um, language arts books that they are writing and that they have these real life story elements to them that make it more interesting to the kids so that it's not just a bunch of facts. It's got an actual storyline to it. Elemental Science does a great job with their Sassafras books as well. So we've got a couple of those here. And then back to master books. Here is a teacher guide for elementary zoology. And then this helps you. And then here is some of the material that your children get to use. Here's the Complete Zoo Adventure, God's Big Book of Animals. That is a big book. Complete Aquarium Adventure and how many animals were on the ark. And so your kids will get to read all of those things as well. Now, what else do I have for you? I have Rush Revere and the Star Spangled Banner. And so again, it's a story form, but it teaches them the history of our Star Spangled Banner. Draw right now. So they draw and they write, and this one is about Native Americans, North America, and the Pilgrims. So as you're teaching that period of history, or your kids are learning that chronological history again, they could be doing this as well. 
<clears throat> Master Books again. Foundations Phonics. This is for them as well. A Reason for Spelling incorporates scripture and fun activities in with this as well. So it's not just a list of words, it's, it's games and things too. And then you could just give your kids a book like this, like this fossils book, and just let them learn from it. Um, there's the weather book and cave book, and there's a bunch of different books in this series. And then My Father's World. My Father's World has done a great job as well. And so here is just their language lessons for today. And then Mystery of History. So again, chronological history and told in story form so that it's a lot more interesting and lifelike for the kids. Now, what kind of sort resources do I have for you today? All right, two great ones, big sellers, Mother Culture and a Charlotte Mason Companion. So these will help you to understand better this Charlotte Mason method. Online resources for you, charlottemason.com, and then simply charlottemason.com, kathyduffyreviews.com, hslda.org, and so check out those things as well. So there are different teaching styles. And there's everything from traditional to classical to Charlotte Mason to unschooling and even more. And so you're going to choose based off of um, how you were taught, um, what your values are today, what your lifestyle is, and most importantly, what your goals are for your family. So your teaching method can change as you continue your journey homeschooling, and that's okay. Or you can land on one and you can just be consistent the whole way, and that's okay as well. So do your research and talk to others and ask questions and give it a try for a year or so and see if this is a perfect fit for your family. So what questions do you have? Um, what advice or tips if you're already using the Charlotte Mason Method teaching style? I hope this was helpful to you. Um, I've had a lot of fun sharing with you. There's so much more to say. Um, check out mardell.com for our blog article. Um, check out videos of ours that we're putting together. They're on YouTube and Facebook. Um, you can order curriculum and other things um, at our stores and online. And I just want to thank you for watching and spending this time with me. I hope you have a great day and enjoy your homeschool life.